Hey everybody, welcome back. Alright, so uh, whenever you load into a new game, your bindings uh, fail, so you gotta rebind things. So that means we need to cast uh, our. Oh, that's the wrong one. Whoops. Okay. <laughs> I'm still trying to get used to these icons here. Which one was uh, strikes? Oh, it's way over here. Okay, so that's number seven. Wow. Okay, so... Number seven, we don't have enough mana right now. So we're gonna have to wait. So we've got uh, pretty much everything we need from this level. So I think we'll go into the sewers, the crossroads sewers, because there's also some marketplace sewers later on. Let's see if we've got enough mana right now. There we go. And I'll probably want to use the Proctor Sword in the sewers, because most of the enemies down there do not have armor. Alright, so here we go. Now the sewers are confusing and labyrinthine, uh, but we'll do our best. There is a sword in here that I want to find, and once we find that sword we can leave, is the idea. And I generally turn these lights on as I go to remind myself where I've already been. Hey, we just learned Convergence. Alright, now that we have that, we're going to want Continuity 2, because we can only have one binding active at a time right now, so we're going to start learning Continuity 2, so in the future we can have multiple spells with this border on them active at the same time. So I, I, I shouldn't... But yeah, I shouldn't be able to use any of these other ones while another binding is active when I only have Continuity 1. Alright. But spells that are not bindings, like Force Blast, are just fine. As long as you have the mana for them. Now, a lot of the enemies down here are really annoying. Specifically the ghouls that try to face-hug you. And there's the sword right there in the very first treasure chest. That is unusual, but I will take it. So this sword is socketed. If you put a green crystal in it, the slash damage will go all the way up, and it will stay there. But if you don't have the green crystal in here, the slash damage will decrease, because it has a fragile edge. Um, now the question is, do I want to use it right now? Probably not. I probably want to save it for the marketplace sewers, because I only have one green crystal. Uh, so we could, really, we could just turn around and leave here, but... Let's just spend a little bit of time here. There are, well, I don't even really need the armor pieces that are here either. The least we could do is fight a ghoul. There's one right there. Alright, well that scared him. Didn't knock him over, but it scared him. Oh, he's coming back. Right. Stabbed him. That stab somehow missed. Here comes the face hugging. I can't even swing my sword as a result. Well, that's annoying, like I said. But you'll notice we only took stamina damage. They're not able to do all that much damage against this armor. You know what, we're just going to work our way back around here, I think. Like I said, usually it, the sword is, is the last thing I find. Uh, oh yeah, since we finished Convergence, we, I forgot to choose to start learning uh, Bolt. There we go. Right, so we're going to try and just kind of circle back around here. Very nice. 
Is there a chest in here? I guess there's not. But basically, there's several rooms with chests down here, and the loot kind of cycles between them, between runs, so you don't really know where it's going to be each time. Again, which is why I was quite surprised that the socketed sword was in the very first one. Alright. Yeah, I think we should get out of here, because there's really... The other pieces of armor in here are not going to help me. And on top of that... I don't even know what we're going to face in that new level, so I should probably preserve my health salves and everything, so... Now that we have that sword, we're going to get out of here. Alright, so now we will go to the golem level, so that we can get some, hopefully, some better armor and more crystals. And then at that point, we can try to find that new level. So, let's see. So we need to go back to the east to go to the golem level. Let me switch back over to the bulge. Uh-oh. Someone over there to the left. Is it a blade master? No, it's not. Okay. It is another ancient undead. And I'm going to stay on the piercing side of this weapon here. need any of that. All right. Smooth sailing through the rest of here. Blade Masters, very nice. I'm sure we'll run into them when we come back after the Golem level. The entrance to which is right here. Alright, so the Golem level has a mechanic going on where some doors have these sigils or these tokens carved into the ground, and if you don't have that token in your inventory like that right there, if you don't have the corresponding token in your inventory and you try to go through the door, the golems near the door will attack you. And you can beat them, but it's a pain. It's better usually to just not fight them. Just have the token. I will certainly find some decent new pole arms in here, like pole hammers and pole axes. And a two-handed spear. So that will be nice. Alright. We should find the first token, hopefully here, I guess. Nope. Right, we're going to have to keep looking. I would guess that it's going to be in here. That was from, I guess, that scroll. Right. And there it is. So there's the round shield token. Take that. Okay. 
And there's the corresponding engraving in the floor. Let's get some good loot here, hopefully. Alright, there's a pull hammer. It's extremely well made and it's in good condition. Does a ton of crush damage and if you flip it around does a ton of pierce damage too. So that's our new weapon and I'm actually going to toss the bulge. I don't need it. We don't need those mail gloves either. Or gauntlets I should say. Uh, no. There's a pole axe. Fairly well made, but it's in extremely good condition. Uh, can also pierce or stab with it. Let's grab this. And there's a spedum or speedum. I just still don't know how to say that, but I'm not going to use that, so I'm going to leave it. All right. So these. Boots. Now I'm wearing the plate leggings, so if I put these boots on, we would have we'd have to get greaves and quees also. I mean, these are really good, but all, right. all pikes. So that's what they're calling that. It's not necessarily a spear. Okay, well I'm gonna want that too. Uh, let's get rid of the executioner sword because we're never gonna use it. Let me see if we can find some other leg armor in here. And we could just take the boots with us. But, let's just see. I'm actually kind of happy with the armor we have. Alright. No. Oh. Yeah, so I really wanted to get some good pull arms from here. And some crystals. Well, we got the pull arms. Again, I don't even know if I'm going to need the armor upgrade, or if it's even an upgrade. But I do want to find some more crystals. If I can. Pretty solid. All right, there's. Uh, so those are no longer called rear braces; they're called arm harnesses now. Yeah, you know what? I think we're fine. We're fine with the armor we have. I don't need to. Uh, I'm not gonna change it. There's the heater shield. That's our next token. By the way, I think we can finally get rid of this. I, I seriously doubt there's a use for it. We got it on the first floor, after all. Whoa, did not expect this guy to be here. It's not going to land. These guys are far too agile. Oh, he's just trying to get away, isn't he? Yeah. 
Well, eventually, he might get his courage back. You know what? Oh, no. Is he coming back? Yeah, he's ready to fight. Let's try to parry here. Unless it's a stab. There go. And we missed with the first blast. And he's going to run again. Alright, forget him. have the heater shield token and this is the heater shield engraving all right not bad at all all right now we need an eye token. Very nice. Alright. There's a great sword. Eh, I'm not really looking to use that right now. We could potentially get flanked in here, but uh, I think we'll be all right. there just gonna pass on that some more arm harnesses all pike again still no eye token And the timing on that force blast is messing me up. I keep getting hit before it finally triggers. I have to work on that. There's the token. All right. That's what we needed from this area. Again, I'm trying to save my health, save my salves for that new level, because I have no idea what's going to be there. Use the eye token. Alright, and we have learned bolt. So that's going to go here now. And that's going to be, oh my goodness, four, eight, that's number nine. Let me put that as the default one here. Let's do that instead. Let's just see what we can do. Oh yeah, alright, so some long range action, that'll work. Alright, so there's a dual ribbon token that we need to get now, and this guy has it. Alright, we yeah, got him. That has pretty good distance. Oh no. And now he's scared. Oh, I missed. Yeah, this is not going to be fun, because we have to kill him to get that token. Ah, oh, right, let's go back to... Whoops, I'm going to go back to the regular Force Blast here. Oh, he could have had a free shot right there. Oh, this is... this is ridiculous. Did he go left? Or did he go right? 
go right? I think he did. There he is. <laughs> That'll do it. There is the dual ribbon token. Just put that right there. Okay, so anyway. Uh, we gotta have Union to learn Bubble, so we can't learn anything else right now. Which is why we will still have that blue plus sign there. Alright, so this is where we're going to end this episode. Thank you, as always, for hanging out, everybody. I appreciate it. Please hit like and subscribe if you would like to, and I will see you all next time.